So it's way too blown out to fly. But something that I've been doing that I want to share with you guys. Well, well let's, let's step back for a moment. One of the best ways to learn how to fly is to watch an expert. I watch the birds. Ever since I started, I see one right now. I see what they're doing. I watch what they do. It's hard to see from the ground though. There's a bird right here behind these limbs. I've already lost him, but I see where they go. I see where they turn. There's something that, uh, something that I've noticed. I think I'm gonna take you along with me and let me show you what I've been learning. Check this out. So I might've mentioned it in a previous video. I bought a drone. I used the drone to make video of weather phenomenon mainly, time lapses. Because it's sort of a blustery day outside, I thought, uh, I thought I may just fly the drone from the comfort of my bed. So that's what I've been doing. But I think I'm gonna go to the studio to make a video about it so I can talk you through the flight as I do it with the drone. And let's see what we can learn from these birds. And I wanna tell you a few things that I've already learned long before I got a drone. I purchased four batteries. I speculate that if I keep putting them on the charger as I burn through them, I should be able to maintain like a perpetual flight with this thing. By the time I use the fourth battery, the first battery should be charged up is what I'm thinking. start chasing the local fauna around with the drone in the sky, I want to give you a breakdown about our area or my area and what we're looking at. Here's a topographical map. We'll get back to this. I'm going to teach you some things at the end of the video, but first I just want to kind of give you a rundown on things. The wind, 10 gusts and 25 out of the south southwest. Here's the top of the hill basically in our area. And these are the connection points that the birds typically hit over and over when you have this particular situation existing. Now also, the sun, when there was sun shining, it was directly in line with the wind, which makes gaming things a little bit easier than if you have the sun and the wind coming at a different angle. So with all that said, let's go and just watch this drone footage together. Let's take off. I'm not very good at drone flying. I'll go ahead and put that disclaimer in there. Let's climb up, spin it around, and I don't want to go too high. Look, there's buzzards right there. You can already see them circling. Look at there. Look at there, a whole dang gaggle of them. Wow, that was perfect timing, wasn't it? What I have found is that they're always over here, kind of in the same place on the edge of this tree line. Look, they're climbing. Let's go up. Let's go up and look at them. There's a whole gaggle of those dudes. A gaggle of buzzards. We got this one homeboy here. Look, what's he doing? Oh, he's getting close to the drone. Where's he at? There he is. There's all his friends right there. They're always kind of at the same angle on this tree line. And I don't think it's so much the tree line as it is there's a hill right back there that catches the sunlight and it's got a good angle. And the tree line just serves as sort of a trigger point. The wind is strong out there today though. It is cranking so hard. Before we go chasing these birds around, I think, uh, here, let's go over to where they're at. Golly, there's a whole bunch more. I was doing this earlier today and there was not as many of these buzzards. But they always sort of catch lift in the same place here. Look at these guys. They are coring it up, baby. Sun done poked out a little bit. Clouds are breaking up. Now, I don't want to get so close to them that I disturb them or mess them up. They're going to hang out in these lift bands and float around together. And they're looking at each other and they're looking to see where the lift is. Look how fast they're drifting. Look, I'm going to have to go just to keep up with them. Ha! Huh. They're not climbing super high. The thermals are real broken today. I gotta go up a little bit. We're approaching our legal limitations for drone flight. That's a thing, apparently. Look, here's one lone, lone soul. Let's watch him for a second. Into the wind he goes. Ah, go down, go down. He's sinking, I'm going down with him. Up and down, up and down. In the thermals and out of the thermals. I know the feeling, buddy. Let's go over here and see where all these guys are going. See, ultimately, they'll push back over towards this same spot again. They'll go up till they get tired of going up, 
and then they'll come back down and go for that trigger point. I've been watching these guys for years. I mean, I don't know if it's the same buzzards or not, but I've been watching what they do, where they do it, and why they do it. I base it all the observations. I, you know, I commit to with the wind direction, the sun angle, cloud formations, gust potential. Obviously, birds, they do it all day, every day. They're really good. Even then, I see them making mistakes, like almost crashing into the drone and having to juke it. Most of the time, I've just got the drone sitting still in the sky, and I'm just using the camera to spin it around and look, but I'm not like wildly shooting it all over the sky, chasing these things. This place right here, this corner right here, it'll, look, yep, see, there they are down there. They go lower, they get down in this corner, and they ride the lift band right there. Now, if you look at this field back to the south of here, about the center of the frame there, this large field complex, that's the top of a hill. Now, you can see where the water runs through my property, and then also this little tributary where the hardwoods are. See, that's always, you can tell your low areas by where the hardwoods are. Pine trees, they're going to grow high and dry. The hardwoods are always going to be lowland or fence line. But there's a hill that runs east to west. This road right here is the Arkansas state line. I don't think that it's the tree line that's causing the trigger point. Obviously, that has something to do with it. I think it's more the top of the hill. Now, this area here, this is, this is what we call the garden. I'm inclined to go down in there just so I can be sneaky on the buzzards so they don't see me as much. I might lose signal though. I've got, I'll have poor signal in here. Let's look up and see what we can see. We're kind of at a vantage point here. Yeah, look, see, they're all up here in the lift band. I'll point this camera up. Yeah, there they go. There they go. They'll just loiter in this area. This area, when the wind is south, it's just got to be a good spot. Now, of course, buzzers can ride stuff from everywhere, but the fact that they consistently go by here and I can see them all the time. Look, I'm just, I'm riding their honey hole. This is the, this is their honey hole. It's where the gangsters hang out. <laughs> and of course, I can see them from the ground. It's not like it's, see, all, the, all these guys, they came right back down here to this spot waiting on their next cycle. And when the next cycle hits, They'll be up and out of here and they'll be gone. But I'm just kind of spinning the drone around in this hole. I've got the gimbal pointed up as far as it'll go. I'm at the maximum up angle. I've not actually climbed any though. I could, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna come up and lower the camera a little bit. Raise my altitude. Get right in their faces, huh? Right in the sweet spot. Get a little lift for the drone here, huh? <laughs> They're circling around me, literally. I'm right in the core. Yeah, come around. Don't make me put it in sport mode, honky. Whoa, he juked me. I guess they're curious about this thing and they want to come over there and see what it is and what it's doing. Watch this. They'll all come into frame once I get down below the trees, kind of. Yep, there they are. They've just gotten low. Notice everything's shaded. Sun just now poked out from behind some clouds, but there's not a lot of thermal activity. They're just riding what they can. There's no big booming thermals popping up. It's fun to watch them though. I used to not be a bird watcher. I mean, I would look at a bird, yeah, whatever, but I didn't, I didn't give it much thought. I didn't think about why are they doing what they're doing? How are they flying? I find myself mimicking them in my own personal flight. Oh, the sun just popped out. I bet things are fixing a light off. I can see the shadows on the ground. Yeah, let's, let's go up. Let's go up and point the camera down and see if we can see them climbing, huh? How about this angle? We got above the gaggle. They all, the, if they're that low, they're always right over the trees. That's the, that's the common denominator. The lift is very likely coming from this field out here to the south, but the tree line is a trigger point. The water there is a good trigger point. This is cool watching these birds from the comfort of the studio. Above him, below him. I'm going down. It's giving him the illusion that he's going up. And let's see what he does. He is going up, kind of. Back behind me, there he is. Yeah, I think they're curious about this drone. I think they're like, what kind of bird is this? Can we eat it? I bet that's what he's thinking. I bet he's thinking, can we eat it? Yeah, they're climbing. All it takes is a little sunshine. There he is. I wish I were a better drone pilot. Let's climb. I'm gonna go up again. 
lower the gimbal see what we're cooking with here all right let's just let it look for a second yeah see they're coming back around ha huh. what's up birds that they're going up now look at that they connected when they connect they turn and go with it you'll notice they'll drift back as they climb I could steer the stupid thing. Oh, I suck. I should have practiced it before I made this video. That is kind of neat, though. Also, notice how much they're bobbling. That means it's real turbulent. And we're at 250 feet. Not very high. Oh, we got sun shining on that grass right there. I bet they're about to go up. They'll get together in one of those big gaggles whenever that stuff heats. It's got to heat for a few minutes. It's not like an instant thing. It'll heat, they'll get together, and they'll all find that one bubble that goes up faster than all the other bubbles. Now, just a note on clouds. Look how shredded these clouds are. They're, they're broken to pieces. They're all cumulus, but they're, they're just ugly town. Like, there's no... The wind is so strong out there. But look at that bright sunshine. Low pressure's coming in. You take some low pressure coming in and throw some sunshine on it like that, man, things are fixing to go up like a rocket ship. I'm certain of that. Look, yeah, he's climbing. I'm going to leave the drone just sitting level. I'm not going to climb or descend with it. And we're just going to watch these birds and see if they get up on it here. We had some sun come over, then some shade, and they're going to go... Basically, the way that you can see where they get slow, the way they're going right there, that's into the wind. It's basically coming from the sun. The wind and the sun are coming the same direction. So it's going to be easy for our purposes to, to see what's going on. I feel like I'm right in. Yeah, look, they've all gathered up into the core there. They're turning. I bet they all fix to start climbing. Look at that. Going up. Elevator ride, please. Sure, let's go. I positioned the the drone right where, right where the core was, which is where these guys are usually coming, surfing the lift band. Sometimes they punch out of it. I don't think they want to climb high. Sometimes, I think they're kind of like us in a way. They, they just want to loiter around. They're just riding the waves, you know, flying. They're flying because it's easy to fly. They don't have to flap to go up and down. They climb in a little thermal lift. Look, look, these guys are maxing out. They're climbing. You can put this thing up there in the mix and you can watch and see things that, it gives you just a different perspective on it. Just a different perspective on it. Look at how strong the wind is. It's got that thing stretched out. Lots of thermal activity. There's the wind direction, looking straight north. So you can see that that's southeast and they'll probably flip around to the southwest. That's, that's just thermals lifting, the sun that just lit everything up. You're going to see this windsock burble and burble and burble, and then when the gust happens, that thing's going to stretch straight out. Now, when I say I've learned to fly like the birds and I do what they do, obviously I'm not talking about specific piloting skills such as, you know, curving my wings to do a different thing. What I was getting at is more of the whole general vibe of the thing. You know, when you find an area that is really good and it's kicking off some good thermals and they're getting hooked off from the earth in a good way and you zone in on that spot, I tend to hang out there and just fly in and out of those good lift bands coming from whatever feature I found on the earth, sun, wind combination that I'm looking at. And that's what these birds seem to be doing. And I find myself doing the same thing whenever the conditions are mild enough that I can go out there, practice my moves and do my own kind of flying I'm looking for where the good stuff is coming. I'm positioning myself in the lift, turning in the lift, and then coming back and, and doing it again. Just doing reps, just flying, just what these guys are doing. They're climbing a little bit, then they're pushing back out into the field. Then they're climbing a little bit, they're pushing back down into the field. When they catch a good one, they all get together and go up together. And that's what I do too. And that's what I'm getting at when I say learn to fly like the birds. You know, obviously, we're not talking about the minutia, but more the big picture. Sometimes they do go high and far, and I do the same thing. But most of the time, I do just what they're doing here, flying around. 
Where are our bird friends, huh? Where are they at? Up here? Yep, there they are. Oh, there he is. Woo! Look at them. They're going to go right over there to this tree line and go over the trees. And that's where they're going to connect. See how low they are there? But that's where it starts off. If you go past that, you don't get the lift over the trees behind where the lift is happening. That's where these birds connect. If they get out in front of it, they either go down or they have to flap. But right out there, looks like money. Let's go up and look at them. <laughs> I should learn to drive better. Here, let me turn it in slow gear. That way I won't be so stupid on the controls. But you also got to remember that buzzers can catch lift off of anything. Like they can ride such a small, weak bubble. Nothing a paraglider or a sailplane or a hang glider would ever be even be able to touch. A buzzard can actually climb in and perform in. Just an occasional flap. He's good to go. Yeah, buddy. But, you know, they're, they're everywhere, though. We got a lot of these birds in this area. They're always around. I guess there's always a lot of dead stuff to eat. That's my, that's my theory. We got a lot of dead stuff. <laughs> what a claim to fame, huh? <laughs> fun times, fun times. Well, my battery's getting low. I'm probably getting a little long in the tooth. I'm gonna put this thing back over, let me put it in fast mode, and then go back to the house here. So I mentioned earlier in the video that we would get back to gaming this and learning something about it. Now, I was able to glean a lot more from doing this than you will be able to from watching the footage in the video. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. But what we're ultimately seeing here is the gaggles seem to form up in the really good sections when all the buzzers get together to start coring. There's two main places that that happens, right here and right here. We established that at the front of the video. What do we see just upwind and is getting hit by sunlight right in front of that? That's right. These two little venturis, they're little sloped areas that have some curve to them. The sun's hitting them, the wind is going down them, and boom, the lift bands are happening right downwind of them over that tree line where there's a good low wet trigger point that causes the thermals to rip off and go up. Now, this day was not great, but certainly the birds can do it. Obviously, I was inside flying the drone. I didn't want no part of these shenanigans. Even if I could do it, it would be too difficult. Of, um, I'm lazy. I'm just lazy. It would be a survival game. I don't want to go out there and try to survive. I like to fly when it's fun. We might make another video kind of like this when it's good. I'll talk you through that. But for now, we're going to cut it out here. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know how bad that video sucked. We'll see. I'll, I'll throw it on the editor and we'll see what that looks like. I don't have anything else to do today. Jen's gone riding horses. Uh, still out for Christmas. Be back at the pharmacy tomorrow for our regularly scheduled. Oh, I gotta work tomorrow. I thought that was a neat thing to do with the drone. I think I'm gonna go throw another battery in it and continue to do that. So we'll catch you guys real soon in the next one. Much love. Kyle out.